Hi guys, it's Karel and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm so excited to partner with Walmart to create a bold spring makeup look using some of my favorite top rated affordable makeup brands that are now on sale during the Walmart Glow Up event saving. If you guys want to see what I'm going to create, please continue to watch. Let's get into this tutorial. The first thing I like to do is give my eyebrows a good comb through because I have very bushy eyebrows. So this makes makes it easy before I actually go in with my eyebrow pencil. Today's eyebrow pencil I'm using the Maybelline Express Brow in the shade Deep Brown. So I start at the base of my eyebrow and I just follow the natural shape or the shade that my eyebrow lady gave me of my eyebrows. That's what I usually do. And I like to fill in any sparse areas. I am very light handed whenever I do this because I don't want my eyebrows to be too bold. So I continue to fill it in until I am happy with that look. Now that I'm happy with the shape of my right eyebrow, I'll go ahead and do the left one. And as I always like to say, my eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So I try to match it as much as I can, the left to the right. Now that I'm happy with the shape of both eyebrows, I always like to check that my eyebrows start at the tip of my nose. The art should be about at the center and at the end of your nose here is where your eyebrow should end. So that it's not too long, I like to always check. To clean up my brows, I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Concealer. And I just go under my eyebrows and I draw a line underneath. And I like to drag down the excess concealer underneath the eye. And I do the same on top. I'm going to blend everything out with my concealer brush. And I always drag the excess to my eyelid. It makes such a difference when you add a concealer underneath your brows and on top because it really defines the brows even more. I like to use my concealer as a eyeshadow base. And what I'll do is set it with a setting powder after. Just smooth that out. Already covering up my dark lids. I do have discoloration on my eyelids. I'm going in with a setting powder now because when I put my eyeshadow on I don't want it to move around so whenever you use a liquid you always have to set it in place. Set, 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 set that liquid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we have a nice base for our eyeshadow. The Lottie London eyeshadow palettes are some new makeup palettes that I discovered on the Walmart website. They're very affordable and the color payoff from the eyeshadow is so bold and pigmented. I always start with a orange eyeshadow to warm up my eyelids. It's the perfect transition color for my shade. Especially if you're a darker skin, you always want to go in with a nice bright orange color. It just warms up the eyelid so much just look at the color payoff on that eyeshadow it's so good so bold so vibrant and the key to a good eyeshadow look is blending guys you have to blend the eyeshadow if you're not blending your makeup is not gonna look all seamless blend blend Blend, blend, blend. I add as much of this transition shade until I'm happy with the color payoff. I am going to go in with this beautiful glitter eyeshadow in the shade Sweetness. And before I add any glitter to my eyelids, I like to wet the brush with my setting spray. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I literally just spray the brush all the way around and I get it nice and wet. And this helps the eyeshadow to stick to my eyelid. Let's get into the shade Sweetness and apply to the eyelids and right away you could see how nice it's going on it's having minimum fallout because I did go ahead and wet the brush this is such a beautiful vibrant shade just look at that beautiful so I apply that to my eyelid but just the lower section and I try to keep it to the inner because on the outer I'm going to apply a darker shade. Since I have hooded eyes I always take the eyeshadow above the crease a little bit so it could show better. Just above the crease. I'm going back in the shade Sundance, this orange shade. 
just to blend everything together and personally you could stop at this step because this is a nice look so far but I'm gonna add a darker shade to the outer lid to make it pop more next I'm gonna go in with a darker eyeshadow from this black radiance eyeshadow palette now on sale during the beauty glow up event guys and if you love glitter I highly recommend this eyeshadow palette it has such nice colors as you guys could see very pigmented lots of glitter under six dollars I'm gonna go in with the shade enchant on my outer eyelid and I want to keep it on the outer lid and I just blend in a circular motion because that's where I want the darker shadow to be so I blend it in the outer lid and then I drag it in a little bit in the crease so blend and drag just on the outer lid do you guys see the difference the darker eyeshadow made on the outer lid? It just made the eyeshadows like more vibrant. I'm going to go ahead and do a wing eyeliner. And for my eyeliner, I like to use the NYX Epic Liner. But I'm going to do it off camera because I'm no pro at a winged eyeliner. Now that I have my wing eyeliner done, I'm going to prep my face for some foundation. And today for primer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Primer. It really hydrates my skin and leaves a smooth base for the foundation. This primer has a nice creamy texture and it just really smooths the skin out. It's a nice blur. So if you have like large pores, it helps to minimize it. To correct the discoloration underneath my eyes and around my chin and on my sun damage here, I told the story I got this because I used to bake in the sun when I was a girl in Jamaica. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. And the orange concealer cancels out the darker discoloration. So I go ahead and I apply some of this corrector underneath the eyes and a little goes a long way you don't want to add too much of this orange shade I apply some on my sun damage here and around my mouth I then go in with my concealer brush to blend out this orange concealer it makes such a difference this orange concealer to hide my discoloration look at the difference guys this is so good I'm going in with a larger brush to blend out the rest of the orange concealer and I'm starting to look more awake already. My skin is looking so good. Sometimes I just add a little bit of orange concealer when I'm going out and I want to hide my discoloration and that's it. I don't even wear the foundation. It really does the trick, that orange concealer. For foundation, I'm going to use my absolute favorite drugstore foundation. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and this is in the shade. 360 mocha this foundation from Maybelline is very lightweight but it's also buildable and it leaves a matte finish I'm going in with my foundation brush just to blend everything out this shade is just so beautiful it's like the perfect shade match for me for my foundation I like to push it in my skin more than drag it I like to push it in that really leaves the flawless finish that I like get under the neck I do have discoloration underneath my neck so I like to pull the foundation down and just try to hide that as much as possible this look is starting to come along very nicely for my under eye concealer I'm gonna use the Maybelline eraser concealer in the shade medium go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes and a little bit to the side of my eyes that's gonna help to clean up my eyeshadow also to give it a nice line do the same to the left I'm going back in with my trusted concealer brush. This brush has multiple use. I absolutely love it. This concealer is really nice. I always go in with a lighter concealer underneath my eyes because it really highlights. And then I drag it right where the shadow is because I want my shadow to have a nice line going across here. Drag some down to the nose also. Down and across. I'm gonna add the same concealer underneath my cheekbone and this is gonna define the cheekbones and blend that out and don't worry guys if you feel like oh my god I add too much you could always go in back with your foundation brush to help to erase that mistake <laughs> foundation brush or a cleaner brush really just cleans everything up to bring back some color to my face because right now I'm looking a little bit washed out I'm gonna go in with a darker concealer and this is a black radiance concealer in the shade deep to dark and I add some to my cheek here 
and just to frame my face wherever I want to add color back I'm gonna add this concealer we start to blend of course I start on my forehead here and I drag it into my hair a little bit and I really blend this out bring it down and along the cheek sometimes I make this little face <laughs> so I know I'm getting in there you want to blend this out no harsh line I don't want to see any harsh lines blend do the same on this side drag it to the hairline blend the cheek and we're gonna blend underneath the neck also with that darker shade set my concealer into place I'm gonna go in with the setting powder underneath my eyes my forehead just above the brow we don't want to trouble this darker concealer here and I put a little bit down my nose also just to define the nose a little bit and then we're gonna cut this cheek to set the darker concealer, I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. I'm going in with this darker shade and I just tap it, knock off the excess, and set anywhere I added that darker concealer. I'm going to use this under the neck. This really frames the face when I do this. To define the nose a little bit, I'm going to tap some hair, squeeze my brush together, and just go down the bridge of my nose. I am going to use this e.l.f. cosmetic blush today and it's just the perfect shade for my skin complexion. It goes on so smoothly, a little goes a long way and it's just such a beautiful color pay off. Smile and blend. <laughs> Before I add my mascara and do my lips, I always set my face and today I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Spray. And I give myself a good spray. <laughs> Meanwhile, my setting spray is dry and I'm going to go ahead and do my lips and I'm going to use this lip pencil from e.l.f. And I just draw a line to outline my lip. And this is the perfect shade of burgundy for me because I'm going to add a lighter color to the lip. For my liquid lipstick, I'm going to use the Maybelline liquid lipstick in the shade Sultry. And I go ahead and I start in the center of my lips. It's a lighter shade, but because I have the darker lip liner, it's going to blend nicely. This is such a nice, light, beautiful shade. Not sticky at all. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Mascara, also included in the sale. And if you guys know, you know this mascara is a OG favorite. It doesn't cause any clumping. And I just love that it separates my eyelashes so nicely. And I do change my mascara every three months. So this is the perfect time for me to stock up on this during the sale. It's so good. Look how it's just separating my little lashes. Because <laughs> guys, I have short, clumpy lashes. It separates it so good. I do add some mascara to my lower eyelashes also. Guys, I'm obsessed with how this makeup look came out. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's bold, it's perfect for spring, and it's so me. It's such a beautiful look. I wanted to tell you guys about these two Lottie London lip products. First is the lip scrub, and this is in the scent Mango Sorbet, and it smells so good. I like to apply this to my lip in a circular motion. It gets rid of all the dead skin. Then I'll go in with a damp cloth to wipe this off. Next, I'll go in with the Lottie London London overnight lip mask and I add this to my lip after the scrub and I leave it on overnight and it has my lips feeling so smooth and nice this is in the scent cherry kiss and it smells really good also these are all included in the sale I'm gonna have everything that I use to create this beautiful spring makeup look linked down below and on my shop LTK and I'll see you in my next video bye guys